Today's younger generation is learning to deal with a new problem known as grounding. <laughs> grounding can last as long as a day, a week, a month, or in the case of one young lady, even longer. She's been grounded for life. You are not leaving this tower, ever! And what's a teenager to do if she finds herself grounded for life? She can read a book, or two, or three, paint a picture, brush her hair, play dress up, practice singing, play an instrument, brush her hair some more, learn to bake, exercise, tidy up, brush her hair, practice darts, knit, brush her hair, brush her hair, brush her hair. Brush her hair. <laughs> but... You coming, Blondie? If you should suddenly find yourself set free... <laughs> remember, it's a dangerous world out there. You could get tangled up with ruffians, thugs, wild horses, and mimes, and maybe even this guy. Hi. How you doing? On second thought, maybe it isn't so bad being grounded for life.